Hey there, and welcome to my channel. It is time for, excuse me, for today's video, I have a jewelry complete revamp. So I'm very excited to do this because I went and got like opal body jewelry for pretty much every piercing I have. The only exception is going to be my nose stud because I just got that done a few weeks ago. So obviously that is not near enough ready to be changed. And yeah, so I have, I have already opened it because I wanted to do it with scissors downstairs before I came into my room, but I haven't looked inside of it yet. So we are going to look at the stuff right now. And this is from a brand called Body Candy. Now Body Candy, I really like. They actually have like decent quality jewelry for not really expensive. And the stuff's really nice. There's some stuff that I'm kind of like meh. Like one time I got something that wasn't threaded correctly, but you know, that's gonna happen sometimes. It's just how it is. But I do really like their stuff. So I got all opal jewelry from them and it's not like real opals cause that's expensive, <laughs> but it is like faux opal, which is good enough for me. Cause I don't mind Kevin not expensive. <laughs> so let us look at these wonderful body jewelry pieces. Okay. Oh, let's see, what did they give me? Snap us, cute. Talk to our experts. And then I love this little like thing they give you that talks about like the different sizes and things, which is really, really cool because I actually keep one of those in my wallet now. Like if I go places and I see body jewelry, I'm like, I need to know what I want. So yes, let us look at the first piece that came out. So the first piece that came out is this beautiful bar for my industrial now my industrial like i have a like it's really short i have to use a really short ball bar in here so i'm going to take the ends off of this one and put those in as well instead like because otherwise i'm gonna have like this long bar and then it's just not good because it gets tugged on and everything so just gonna swap out the balls on that one. Oh my goodness i forgot how much i got okay so i got these i got two of these because obviously i have two piercings up here and i'm going to be swapping those out with these which have this opal right there these are very large balls so i'm not quite sure how that's gonna how that's gonna look but that's fine with me i kind of like whenever my jewelry is like large and stand out but you know if i don't like it i just order a different kind that's how it works so then i also got for just my basic piercings down here I got these which has just different sizes which I'm gonna put in my first second and thirds those are pretty self-explanatory pretty simple so this one is oh my gosh that's adorable it's this little captive bead that has the opal in it and it's got this like it's really small but I'm happy about that because like I'm gonna put that one in my septum and I like dainty jewelry in my septum as opposed to everything else <laughs> So there's that. So then I also got this that has like little opal things up in the top as well. And then the bottom that is going to go in my daith. Now my daith is very angry right now. I think it's because this just doesn't sit in my ear properly. I don't know why, but it like hurts and stuff. So hopefully changing it will alleviate that problem. Then I got these cute little ones that I'm going to put inside of my tragus and my conch but honestly i don't know i might swap out the conch one to be the big one because that way it's like a bigger ball because this is like pretty tiny so i might actually do some swapping around but we'll see what i decide to do and then for my belly button i could not find one that was just like pure white that was like a simple like gem in the middle on their website maybe i'm just stupid and missed it but yeah this one is just red instead and i was like you know what that's fine because red is my favorite color so i'm going to use this one instead of an opal because the other opal ones they had were just all dangly and i'm not a fan of dangle to be completely honest so i just went with this one <laughs> so now that i have shown you all the jewelry i am going to sanitize my hands so let me go wash them i'll be right back <laughs> Okay, so my hands are now clean and I'm debating if I want to go like do the harder one first. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should do that one last because then I'll be like, all the frustration can be like at the end. <laughs> so we are going to, I guess, start with my belly button because that feels like it's going to be the easiest one to change because I don't know, I love my belly button and it is freaking amazing. I adore it. All right, so we're going to take this off and i've got just a plain one in here it's really like old and kind of crusty because this is the original i got pierced with years ago 
and so you can I'm gonna show you something really nasty right here but it's like you, I don't know if you can see this because it, it yeah you can it's like a it looks like green in there because it's like I've worn it so much that it's like rusting on the inside <laughs> which is kind of weird but whatever that's fine so let's take this put her in there oh that's pretty Alrighty, it's in. It's so cute. The camera needs to like, please focus. Please and thank you. That is like so cute. I'm obsessed with that. Can I get it any closer? Oh, that helps a lot. Oh my goodness. You can see it all in there and all its glory. It looks so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the ear piercings. Hold on, let me put this old crusty one away. I need to get just a clear gem one again because it's really, really bad. Like it's so old and like, it's literally probably my most worn piece of jewelry now that I think about it out of everything because it's like, it's your basic gem, you know? Like, and I love basics. Like I usually end up keeping all the piercings that I was originally pierced with over anything. <laughs> all right, let's do, probably the easiest will be probably my lobes here get these out of the way i actually might take these off instead first and then do the date because that's probably gonna be easier with these out of the way there it goes it's gone and then we're going to take the third off as well if i can get it oh okay got it there we go so there you have my empty ear it's so weird to see when my ears are like empty <laughs> like when i take all the piercings out it's like who are you but yeah, this one, you can still see the other hole that I had here because it was not pierced in the correct spot. So I had him pierce it correctly. So there's just like this dot now right next to it, but it's not noticeable usually when I have other earrings in, so it's not like something that's really annoying, but you know. So I was just looking in the mirror and it looks like I had a cat charm on here that is mysteriously vanished. So uh, that's fun. I love when that happens. I've decided I don't like internally threaded jewelry because it's just too easy to lose. But yeah, so this one's gonna be difficult for me to do. Um, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror to actually take this one out, so give me one second. Okay, so there it is out. So weird to see it like empty, but there's a little hole. Ew, you can see all my dead skin. Like this piercing is like so mad and I have no idea what I did to anger it. There's that. I don't know, I just think that maybe this ring was too, I don't know, like too curved maybe that that would make sense and then also the little bits where like you can tell where the uh excuse me hair can you go away where you can tell that there's okay the camera's like refusing because it's my iphone but there's like little things where you can tell it's got the little bendy part where you're supposed to like take it out of there and like make sure you can actually get it apart i think those were also irritating it but that's officially out of my ear it looks so naked i don't like it Take this date one. See if I can get it in there. I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, again, I might have to do the mirror for this, cause yeah. Oh, this is tiny, dude. I'm like, this is gonna be hard to get in my actual ear. Oh no. But you know what doesn't help? Having these nails. <laughs> I like them, but changing piercings with them is the most painful thing. And not even painful because actual pain, but painful because it's a struggle. So that took an eternity. So what I decided to do was just take it off the shorter one because I couldn't get it on there and just take this like curved one that I have that I really, really like. And yeah, so I've got it in there with this cute little ends of the opals. Yay, so that's done. Okay, cool. Since we're already moving on to this one, I might as well just put these in here finally after an eternity. These will be easy, just shove them on there. Here, there's one. Oof, I'm gonna have to use an ear for this one because I don't want to put it in the wrong hole. Alrighty, there's two, and we're gonna get three. Alrighty, there is three. Yay! If I can get the backing on, that would be uh, pretty gosh darn cool. Alrighty, there we go. All three of them are in there. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna wait to do the other side after I finish this whole one. So obviously since I took this one out to use it in here, that one's done. Gonna slide that bar out and then I think what I'm gonna do is put a small one in 
up top and then the bigger one below that. Oh god, this is internally threaded. All right, I'm gonna have to use the mirror for this one. Okay, so we have the tiny opal up top. So now we're going to take the big opal and put it below that and see how that looks. I'm hoping that'll look good. I'm just winging it because the smaller ones were more expensive so I decided to get some larger ones as well. So we're gonna shove that through or completely miss the hole because you know I'm so good at doing this clearly. I know you're okay can you not fight me? I know it's in. Rude. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Okay so this here is done. Oh my gosh that is so cute. I'm so happy with how this looks. Yay! Okay, so we can finally move on to the second ear. I'm so stoked. All right, so this one will be really easy to change the industrial because all I have to do is take off the end pieces and screw on the new end pieces, which it sucks that I have all these bars that I can't use because they're too long. Cause like literally this is, how, this is my ear. Like this is how short this one is compared to that. So, uh, yeah. Some of the balls get really stuck on there and then other ones it's like I can't, I can get off and then others I can't and it's like why you gotta be difficult. Like I literally have to use like shirts and like tissues and things to like try to get, because it's like really stuck on there. It's like twisting the whole bar with it when I try to get the second part off of there. Ah, yes, got it. Cool, cool, cool. I just needed to dry off my fingers. I was literally gonna have a panic attack because I was like no I want this in my ear so bad. Go. or just miss the hole Michaela a plus and miss it again oh my god I hate myself alrighty let's get this in yay so cute okay so now we're gonna do tragus I'm really hoping this one doesn't fight me too much because my tragus has been known to fight me but it's still easier than my days so we'll just see if it says that I'm allowed to maybe not okay I'm gonna do the mirror again because I cannot freaking see. Usually this piercing does not give me any trouble, but the day I decide to change it, it's like, <laughs> nah fam. You think I'm gonna let you change me? You think this is about you? Okay, so thanks to my sister who is in the background here, <laughs> I was actually able to- <laughs> just the way you looked at the camera was just like... <laughs> But she was able to get this one on for me because I was having trouble. So hopefully, now this is the first time I've ever changed my conch piercing. So I'm really hoping that this goes well. So uh, let's do this. Oh, okay, I already got it. Okay, so now I just need to get this other one out and take this. Okay, Look at that hole in the center of my ear. How pretty. <laughs> Alrighty, so there it is through. Okay, so the bar that it came with was a little too short for my conch piercing, so I just gave it a bigger one that I had laying around. It's a flat back. So yeah, this one fits a little better in my ear and is not too long, but is also not super short. So I'm actually really happy with this one instead. So now all that's left is my septum and the other bottom lobe piercings. This is literally taking me so long I was not expecting this. Like I should though, like I should just know that this is gonna take forever because I have so many of them and my piercings just hate me for some reason and like to make everything difficult. All right, so all of my ear jewelry is in. That is so cute. I'm so happy about this. Like it looks so freaking good and just so cute. So there's all the opal jewelry in my ears. Now I do have to do my septum still, so don't worry, that's still happening. <laughs> but we'll see how this goes because it does look like it's a fairly small ring. I'm always nervous about this kind of stuff working or not working and it's like, please just do it for me. Please work, you know? I just dropped both the ball and the ring because I'm smart. Honestly, my septum is one of my favorite pieces of jewelry because it's so easy to like change and do stuff with. And it's like, when you take it out, it doesn't leave a visible scar. So it's like the best piercing in my opinion for somebody who wants something fun, but also doesn't want too much commitment. So it doesn't leave some kind of nasty scar and you're just left crying. Okay, can you, thank you. <laughs> I was like, this is taking forever, my God. All right, septum is out. Dude, I look so different with and without a septum piercing. Like, who am I? Wow, this is very, very tiny. Honestly, I might get a bigger 
ring to put in here because it's like so small and it like makes me so nervous. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is actually get a bigger captive bead ring because I know I have some yet here. I have some that are the same gauge, just not as small. So I'm gonna take this one out again because I do not like how tiny that is. Throw this one in instead. Why am I so bad at this? Like no normal person is this bad at changing body jewelry. Like no normal person, I swear to God. All right, it's still too wide. I, I have an actual pair of pliers that disappeared, but then I was using those for only my piercings and then I had a pair that I used for art, but that's all the way downstairs. <sighs> Crying intensifies. It would just be easier though, so I'll be right back again. I'm back with some pliers. I'm finally done. This was torture and I never want to do it again. Now that hell is finally over, I can finally say, Look at my beautiful opal jewelry, except my nose piercing. She's plain right now, but oh, so pretty. I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. I'm not happy with the amount of time it took because that was insane. I am pleased with the jewelry. Hopefully it all goes very well because I've never had faux opal, so I don't know how long it lasts. I don't know if it's gonna be a pain in my rear end. I'm certainly hoping it won't be because usually body candy is really honest that it is surgical steel and it's not some other kind of weird thing that they have going on. Yes, I am quite happy with how all of this looks. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. It was pain, but it was definitely worth it. And I just had a, a fun time with the result at least, not with the, uh, not with the actual actions of it, but like the results are cute. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. You guys are the best and I will see you in my next video.